Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. But you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I don't think executing the girl is the right way to go. She's probably traumatized. As much a victim here as anyone else. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can do. One thing That's I didn't cool. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. No I'm good with that. N never happens to me. Night's not over yet. I just want out of here. That's it. How many of us are making it out of here? I'm not full of sunshine and candy myself. Not after what's gone down here. We need to get moving. Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash that got us here. Oh no. Taylor? Come on, Daniel. to save her. Taylor! Taylor! Is that you? Oh my God, please help her. Hold on to me. Whatever happens, do not let go. Go. 
God, run. Oh my God. Oh God. Almost screwed that up. Come on, Taylor. Look up, go. We gotta move, okay? What the fuck is that thing? Holy crap. <sighs> Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Wait, who am I? Oh, I'm Andrew. Exciting. That was close. I almost lost Taylor. back there with that thing no idea it was a real shit storm what do you think it seemed like it wanted to haul my ass off into the woods can't even think about what might have happened to me is the tide beginning to turn in our favor whatever we saw back there or thought we saw we're still in grave danger there's got to be a way of stopping the girl we might have already missed a chance to change things you had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Sure, I've been here before. Hey, up here. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real 
and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this the court thanks Reverend Carver who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this breeding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here.
No way. Come take a look at this. You won't believe this. But we're in this photo. All of us. This is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. Hair and pants like that can only mean one thing. I don't know what it was the 70s. So wait. To that 70s. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead? That's what I said to Caleb. We're fucking dead. Can you help me out here? Doing what? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push!
Run, damn it, run. Daniel, are you still down there? Daniel? <sighs> Say something! It's a lot of button pushing and shit. Let's go before anything else happens. Great, I'm him. Uh, is that you guys? Andrew? Oh no, I just saw the little girl. Hey! Oh, I just saw her. Wait, can I go this way? Nope. Okay. I'll just keep walking. This is not creepy at all. This is freaking creepy as hell. What in the hell? Okay. Some creepy ass shit, man. I can't see where I'm going here. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. No. Wrong way. Is that, that the same thing I picked up? Oh, it is. Never mind. I don't want to go and pick that up. I gotta get the hell out of here somehow. How do I get out of here? Maybe I gotta go the other way? I'm getting a little tired of this. Can one of you find me? Fucking thing. Oh god. God. Oh god. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Oh my god, please help him up. My god, I almost got lost trying to get the hell out of there. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. Oh my god. And did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Something moving over there. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? 
I no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I promise to fetch you in my best. Roy, you but said servant. We have to stop this. Help Joseph confront Mary? Uh this has to end. Let's do this. No more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orb rests in your hands. So now I'm him. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Right to hit him. Angela. Oh no. sake I put it on the thing. <laughs> run Angela, run. No. Goddamn head. Run, Angela, run. Angela, get the hell up. God. Get the hell in. Oh, God, no. Help! Now! 
Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Place looks like it burnt down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Yeah, that's already a game I already freaking did. I already did that one. be back.
Alright, that's us. Oh, I already saw that. Alright. I all turned around, so I had to go to the toilet. Alright, did I look at this? I don't know, I don't think I did. Hope I didn't. Oh, I can't get that unless I go on the other side. Okay, I can't open that. So I have to go... Wait, I have to go on the other side of this? Can I even go through here? Yep. Can I not go through here? Are you kidding me? Why is it I can't, I can't get that? Are you kidding me? And why is it I can't get over to John? Okay, whatever. What was that? She must be hiding upstairs. We need to find her. She's in here. Stay here. Andrew? What are you doing? Let me go! Andrew! We are all gathered here in one place again. I am filled with dread at the purpose. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar. Now this tent, child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Listen to the girl. These people have lost their minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please 
Please guide me at this time. This Seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring what's all back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl, and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This whole nightmare is over.
there was no no saving her for some reason. There's no way to save that person. Tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you off, Ruth. We've all had one hell of a rough night. More than anyone. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell, you know right? Finally getting out of this hell. Like yourself. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. We're diverting all traffic through a little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. You need a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in.
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Impressive. Almost survived intact. Almost. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time. There. It's a medium myth. The 
They say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust and plagued by the demons of the underworld. 